The recent solar storm keeps bringing in more. What we're seeing with these coronal mass ejections isn't just a beautiful show in the sky. This isn't just about auroras. It's about a cosmic warning. These geomagnetic storms are not random. They're part of a deeper spiritual shift that's taking place right now. The intense energy from the sun is amplifying the Earth's frequency, shaking the foundation of our reality, forcing us to wake up. As the Earth's magnetic field gets disrupted, so does our own energy field. This storm, it's not just affecting satellites and power grids, it's shaking us on a spiritual level. This storm isn't just another flare. It's one of the most intense solar impacts we've seen in years. Earth's magnetic shield, the very thing that protects us from the sun's radiation, is about to be pushed to its limits. This isn't just a scientific event, it's a spiritual one. As this geomagnetic storm pushes against the Earth, it's also pushing against our spiritual balance. This energy surge is massive, and it's not just going to affect the planet, it's going to affect you. The question isn't whether it will shift your energy, it's how. This storm could be the catalyst for something far bigger within you. Could this be the moment your energy gets thrown into chaos or clarity? One thing is for sure, this isn't an event to be ignored. These auroras aren't just beautiful. They're the raw, unleashed power of the sun coming to Earth. What you're witnessing with these auroras isn't just a pretty show. It's the raw power of the sun bombarding the Earth. This isn't soft light floating gently in the sky. This is pure, primal energy, violent, potent, unstoppable. The sun is literally reaching out and colliding with our atmosphere. You're seeing a cosmic collision unfold before your eyes. For those who understand energy, this is something far more intense than a visual spectacle. It's a direct surge of cosmic power. The sun and earth are exchanging energy on a massive scale, and we're caught in the middle of it. You might be feeling this already, a sudden clarity, a jolt to your system, like something is waking up inside you. This isn't just light. It's energy you can feel. For those who are tuned in, this is your moment. The universe is sending you its most primal force. What if you could absorb this energy, take it in and channel it into your own spiritual growth? This is an opportunity, a direct wave of universal power ready to be harnessed. Let the energy move through you and watch what happens. These solar storms aren't just disrupting your sleep, they're waking up your spirit. You might notice that during solar storms, your sleep patterns start to shift. You toss, you turn, and no matter what, you can't seem to settle. But what if these restless nights aren't just a nuisance? What if they're a signal? The energy from the sun is so intense, it's literally shaking our planet. It's no wonder you can't sleep. Your entire system is being jolted awake. But here's the thing. This isn't just about biology, it's about something much deeper. These sleepless nights could be your spirit's way of responding to the energy bombarding the Earth. You're not just losing sleep, you're experiencing a spiritual awakening. When the sun's energy hits the Earth, it's not just hitting the ground, it's hitting you. It's shaking loose old beliefs, waking up parts of your consciousness that have been dormant. Think about it. What if every restless night is a sign that you're being shaken awake, forced to confront things you've been ignoring? This is solar energy doing what it does best, disrupting everything in its path, including your sleep, your thoughts, your spirit. Instead of fighting it, lean into it. This storm might be exactly what you need to trigger the next phase of your awakening. But beware, too much energy can burn you out. This storm is a double-edged sword. The energy from this solar storm is intense. But let's be clear, this isn't just a boost of spiritual power. It's a double-edged sword. Too much energy can become dangerous, especially for those who aren't grounded. You've heard of solar flares frying electronics, right? 
Well, think of your spiritual system like a circuit board. If it's not prepared, this level of energy can overload and short-circuit you. For some, this energy might not bring enlightenment. It might bring chaos, anxiety, confusion, even spiritual burnout. If you're not careful, this storm could knock you off balance. You're opening yourself up to an intense surge, and if you're not grounded, it could disrupt everything. Too much too fast can leave you drained instead of empowered. The energy pouring in might feel exhilarating at first, but if you don't manage it, it could overwhelm you. This is why grounding practices are critical during this storm. You need to find balance. Spiritual grounding is like building a protective shield, something that can channel the energy in a way that won't fry your circuits. Meditation, spending time in nature, or even just getting quiet, these are essential tools right now. If you don't, this energy can do more harm than good, leading to breakdowns instead of breakthroughs. You're dealing with a storm unlike any other. Be careful how much of this energy you let in, or it could burn you out before you even realize it. What if these stunning auroras are not just a display of beauty, but a warning? Auroras have always been more than just pretty lights in the sky. For centuries, ancient cultures revered these lights as divine messages, omens from the gods or the universe itself. The appearance of an aurora wasn't just something to admire, it was something to interpret. It signaled change, upheaval, or even warnings of approaching events. What if we've lost touch with that ancient understanding? What if these lights we're seeing now are trying to send us a message and we're missing it? This isn't just an ordinary aurora display. The geomagnetic storm behind it is unusually strong, intense, and perfectly timed with a period of significant global shifts. The size and brightness of this aurora aren't coincidental. They're a cosmic clue. We have to ask ourselves, is there something more here than just the science of solar particles hitting Earth's atmosphere? What if these auroras are trying to tell us something about the times we're living in right now? In ancient times, auroras were seen as messages about war, natural disasters, or even the balance of power shifting across empires. What if this geomagnetic storm is signaling a shift for us? A shift that's not just physical, but spiritual. There's a reason why this storm is so massive and so bright. We can't ignore the possibility that this is a wake-up call from the universe. Ancient cultures believed that when the skies changed, so did the fate of humanity. What if these lights are a cosmic warning of the changes that are coming, changes that will shake us all, individually and globally? Could this aurora be an omen of the transformations ahead? And not just transformations in the natural world, but in our spiritual world as well. The auroras are captivating, yes, but we need to look beyond their beauty. We need to ask ourselves, why now? Why this storm at this moment? Could it be a sign of the turbulent energy we're seeing across the planet, from environmental upheaval to social unrest? Are these lights in the sky trying to alert us to the fact that the balance of energy on Earth is shifting? We've become so fixated on the scientific explanation for auroras that we've forgotten their ancient meaning. But this storm is different. It's too powerful, too perfectly aligned with the times we're living in to be a coincidence. The universe doesn't work in random acts. It sends signs. It's up to us to interpret them. What if this aurora is signaling the start of something much bigger than we can imagine. A global shift, a turning point in the Earth's energy. These lights might be stunning to watch, but don't get distracted by their beauty. They could be the universe's way of warning us about what's coming next. Are we ready to face that message? Or will we ignore it, caught up in the spectacle, missing the true significance of what's unfolding above us? This could be the largest energy surge of the year, and you're not ready for it. Let's face it, this storm 
is about to hit harder than anyone is ready for. We're not talking about just another solar event. This is something that's going to shake up everything, whether you're prepared or not. Imagine all that raw, untamed energy from the sun, a force so intense that even Earth's magnetic field is going to be put to the test. Now think about what that kind of power is going to do to you. For those of you who think you're spiritually grounded, think again. This is going to hit deeper than anything you've ever felt before. We're talking about a storm that's going to crack open parts of you that you didn't even know existed. It's not just about the visuals, the beautiful auroras everyone's so excited about. It's about the energy that's coming with it. The surge is going to feel like an emotional tidal wave. And here's the thing, if you're not ready, it's going to wreck you. All those hidden fears, those unresolved emotions, those suppressed traumas you thought you buried, they're going to surface. This energy surge will expose everything you haven't dealt with, and it's not going to be pretty. This isn't just a light show, it's a spiritual storm. You could be thrown into anxiety, confusion, or even total emotional burnout. Everything you've been suppressing might come crashing down on you all at once. Are you spiritually prepared for that kind of intensity? Most people aren't. They'll be so mesmerized by the auroras, they won't even notice the emotional chaos creeping up on them. But by the time they realize what's happening, it might be too late. Grounding is no longer optional, it's essential. You have to find a way to balance this surge of energy before it overwhelms you. It's like trying to shield yourself from a tidal wave with a paper umbrella. Without the right tools, without spiritual grounding, this storm could burn you out faster than you realize. So take a moment right now. Ask yourself, are you really ready for this? Because once this storm hits, there's no turning back. You'll either ride this wave and come out stronger on the other side, or it's going to take you down. The storm doesn't end when the lights fade. This is just the beginning. The auroras will fade, the storm will seem to pass, and you'll think it's all over. But you couldn't be more wrong. This is where the real journey begins. The storm might only last for a night or two, but the effects of it are going to linger, and they're going to change everything. Just like how the aftershocks of an earthquake can be more destructive than the quake itself, the spiritual aftershocks of this solar storm will be intense. You may feel the initial energy surge hit you like a shock wave, but what's going to take you by surprise is how that energy keeps working on you long after the auroras have disappeared. The storm may be temporary, but the changes it triggers could last a lifetime. In the days and weeks after this storm, you might notice subtle shifts in your life, but those shifts will soon become impossible to ignore. Your emotions might feel heightened, your intuition might become sharper, and you might start seeing things in your life that no longer fit. Relationships, habits, even career paths, you'll feel a pull to reassess everything. It's as if the storm has left behind a residue of cosmic energy that continues to stir your soul, pushing you to make changes you weren't even considering before. Ancient cultures understood this. They saw the auroras not just as a light show, but as a cosmic message, a sign that something bigger was at play. They believed the appearance of such lights was a sign from the universe, a signal that something major was shifting. Could it be the same for us? Are these auroras a sign that we're standing on the edge of a personal or collective breakthrough? This isn't just about energy, it's about evolution. This isn't going to be easy. The energy will stir up restlessness. You might feel agitated, like something is off, but you can't quite put your finger on it. That's the aftershock, the energy from the storm working its way through your system, through your life, and it's not going to stop until it's done. And here's the big question. Are you ready to face what this storm is going to reveal? Because when the energy settles, you might find yourself standing in the middle 
of a spiritual mess that you didn't even realize was there. This is the universe's way of forcing a reset. And when the dust settles, you're either going to find yourself on a higher level of awareness or left in the rubble of unresolved issues. This is more than just a storm. It's a spiritual test. If you're still watching, I'd like to thank you for your attention. If you enjoyed the content and want to see more, please consider clicking the subscribe button. Your support is very appreciated. Feel free to share your experiences or thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, take care and subscribe for more insightful content.